This lecture is about using language in your presentation. Oral style is different from the written style. You have to prepare your speech for someone to hear it, and it needs to be interesting and entertaining. You can do that by using repetition as well as transitions. You'll use personal pronouns, I, me, he, she. You can strive for simplicity. Use simple words that your audience doesn't have to try to figure out what did that person say. And you can translate jargon into simple language. There is no reason that your audience should have a dictionary when you make your presentation. So be concise, use short sentences and contractions because it's just easier for the human ear when you do those things. Concrete language is specific, tangible, and it's definite words. This is something that you'll definitely want to use in your presentation, something that the audience can connect with. Abstract language is general. It's nonspecific, and it's open to interpretation. It's better if you use concrete language because that way your audience can follow what you're saying and they don't have to wonder about what you're saying if they're not sure about what did that person just say to me. That can leave your audience confused and frustrated, which you definitely don't want to do. Vivid imagery is important when you're making your presentation. It brings the senses into play. It makes you want to actually be there bring them into the moment when you're talking to them about a particular occasion. So you can try using nouns with descriptive adjectives and active verb forms. You'll want to make it as interesting as possible and bring as much vivid imagery into play as you can when you're talking about your presentation. You can also use figures of speech. A lot of people do that. And, it, and when used properly, it's very effective. You can use similes or metaphors or analogies. You can also make things very personal. You can do understatements or ironies. There's a lot of different ways that you can make your, your speech interesting. And the best way to do this, if you're not really sure of how to do this, is to listen to other presentations that have been given before. YouTube has a lot of wonderful presentations that you can listen to where people are masters of the craft of using figures of speech and making it a lot more interesting for their audience. And so you can do the same once you've actually heard it, you can see different styles and you can adapt that into your presentation. Something you will hear in this class over and over again it's about credibility. It's a recurring theme. So important that you use your words accurately and appropriately, meaning that you want to match your formality to the occasion. For instance, if you've been called upon to speak at a wedding, you want to make sure that it doesn't sound as if you're giving a speech at a funeral. So make sure that it's appropriate. Also, code switching, you can use that selectively. That refers to a sensitive use of the dialect. You want to create images of friendliness, maybe nostalgia or honesty. However you do it, you want to make sure that your meaning is clear and that your audience doesn't leave wondering, what was that all about? So it's wonderful to use creative language. It's good to be honest 
as well as friendly. And it's also good to use memories. You can go back in time, take your audience with you back in time, and a lot of times it will build credibility for you because they can relate to it if you take them to that moment. But most importantly, you need to use words accurately because when you misuse words, it makes the audience lose confidence. And so you don't want to do that. You'll want to build credibility. And you can do that by using the active voice as opposed to the passive voice. Use a call to action. You're going to want your audience to do something. So make your statements clear and assertive. You want it to be active verbs that you use because you want the people that you're speaking to to perform a certain action. Also, you will want to be culturally sensitive as well as using gender neutral language when you're talking to your audience. Basically, you want to respect your audience's cultural beliefs, their norms, and their traditions. And in order to do that, then you really need to do an audience analysis so that you'll know who you're talking to and you can use the language appropriately. And then finally, you want to build a lasting impression. You can use repetition to create rhythm. And what this does is it implants ideas into your listeners' heads. By repeating things, they pick up on it, okay? And it also works well with appropriate voice inflections. Anaphora is where you repeat words or phrases at the beginning of successive phrases, clauses, and sentences. And it's something that effective speakers do all of the time. Epiphora is where you repeat words or phrases at the end of successive statements. And then you can also use alliteration because it creates a more poetic and musical rhythm. Repeat sounds and neighboring words and syllables helps with that alliteration as well. All of these things help to build a lasting impression for your audience.